Last year, a dance team from the Valley made history at a national competition, and this year, they're getting ready to compete again. That's right. I went down to Brownsville to talk to the Texas Heat dance team before they take off. They're this week's made in the 956. This dance studio in Brownsville and even some of these dancers might look familiar to you. If so, that's because the Texas Heat dance team is at it again. Half of our students are brand new, so we're still working. We're still going at it. The team made history last year not once, but twice. That's when, for the first time ever, they competed at the national level, and they ended up winning. The team's hoping that this year, lightning strikes twice. We know what it takes to run in this competition and be in this competition, and our coaches are aiming now. We're gearing towards our, our, our shows into that, that sphere now, really kill, killing it on what we need to kill for, to make our shows even that much better. The dancers have a lot of moves to learn, but believe it or not, this year, they're focusing on something you may not think of. Stamina, cardio. <laughs> We figured out that uh, the altitude is definitely something that uh, affected some of the students. That's because the United States Amateur Dance Championship is in Utah. Last year when we went, I guess we weren't really like, we didn't know what we were going into when we were going to dance up there. But after we finished dancing, it felt so like, I can't breathe. Oh my God, like I need air, I need air. So now I feel like now I know I need to do more cardio. I need to, I need to run, I need to exercise and do all that. So that by the time I get up there, I can, you know, I can be ready. This year they're, they're running their dances at a, at a higher clip. They're doing more uh, stamina training, staying in, their, staying in their dance element as much as they can, in their shoes, in their heels. The team's not just building their stamina, they're also building their optimism. I feel like we could do it again. We have a very good team this year. And just like last year, they're feeling the support from their community. Seeing them come out was absolutely amazing. Knowing that the whole community was with us, going to Utah, coming back. It was awesome to have that support behind us. We've been blessed uh, with you guys, and we've been blessed with uh, a lot of community outreach and community help, putting our name out there, putting the kids out there, uh, and really just feeling that from Brownsville, feeling that from South Texas. And so it's just the kids, the kids enjoy it, the kids love it. The Texas Heat dance team from the Fred Astaire Dance Studio, made in the 956. And to show you how dedicated they are, so when we shot this story, that was the night, that, a few weeks ago when it got really cold and school was getting canceled and mm -hmm. everything, they were there that night still practicing, getting ready, because they said they learned you know, from the past, from how they did, and they want to make sure they get, get the championship this time again. Well, you know what, last year when you did the story, I was disappointed that I didn't see you, you know, try to learn oh, a few no. moves. No, no. And this year, I'm keeping an eye, I'm trying to see if you, maybe you tried it this year and still No, nothing. it's so intense, they're so good, they're so young, but they're so mm. incredibly good, and you know me, I have two <laughs> left feet, so I'm not going to embarrass myself like that, but we want to wish them good luck, yeah, though, of course. To them. Yes.